Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. (laughs) (laughs) What's up? Hi. Hi. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Tuesday to us. Oh my gosh. Tuesdays are my favorite. I mean, it's a good <laughs> because day. Because I get to see you. I know. I get it. I get it. I, yes, yeah, sir. My favorite evening. Yes, for but sure. But not my for favorite sure. day. And are you all done with your resets? Yes. Is today was your last day, so my you're celebrating? My alarm went off this morning, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> one more but day. But that's it. Hell. Your thumbs are going to be all healed and yes. feeling better from putting yes. all the strips in. Oh, my gosh. Yes. yes. You know why else I like Tuesdays? How come? Because we have a guest. Yay! Hi, Kristen. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. We are Thanks so excited that you're me. here. I'm so excited to be here. This is so fun. I Snapchat at Meredith this morning. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> because you always see me in like my worst state. Oh my God. Always Aww. good times, girl. At your worst state, at your best state. It I'm is, so right? She's obnoxious. so much fun. fun. I love the obnoxiousness. It. It's brilliant. So Kristen is from <laughs> Aeon Gallery and Lounge yes. Yes. in Richmond. In Richmond, Illinois. One yes. of our other favorite places to go Absolutely. In it's Kitty oh. Corner from the Richmond Broadhouse. Yes. And when the green light's on, we are open. You are yeah. open. Amazing. Yes. Yes. So go visit, but we're going to chat a little bit about it and all yeah. this fun stuff. So I always talk it up. I'm always sharing it I and talking about that. it. And everyone, I, I shared the one art yes. piece that everyone was guessing what it was. It kind of looked like the yes. devil with yes. the red. And it was yeah, so that's not, maybe I'll, I'll have to share that picture on the cloaking yeah. page so people can guess what, yeah. what it is. Yeah, we can get some this input week. From yeah. Them. And then I have the other yeah. one, the newer one. Um, it's this, I think it's like the skeleton. It's the bigger oh, one that just came in when oh, we were yeah. visiting you so, a couple yeah. weeks ago. So actually we have had that one there for a little bit, but we pulled it out of the rotation. Oh, okay. So it just went back up. So it was new to me in. then. Yeah. It was new to me. Very new to you. Yeah. yeah. Very good. It's fun. That's from an artist in Russia. He's a digital artist, but wow. it's oh, such a cool piece. Yeah. It is yeah. a cool piece. Yeah. yeah. I love He's looking at all this one stuff. one of my favorite artists. Oh, okay. You got a phone case. case. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us the address, please, for everyone? It is 10331 North Main Street, and we are Unit 1 um, in downtown Richmond. So we are right above the Hideaway Inn is right below us. There you go. Okay, perfect. So find yeah. some parking on the street yeah. or on the sides. and you Once know, you get on Main Street in Richmond, just look for the green light. Yes. It's Follow before. the green light. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If they're heading north, it's before the Wisconsin border. So yeah. you've gone too far if you hit Wisconsin. You went really too far. <laughs> well, that like, would be my, my driving. Like five minutes too far. <laughs> I was just talking to a team member today, and he has a house somewhere that is like three and a half hours away. So he opens it. Like, he opens it for the summer, you know? Yeah. And he was halfway there. And he realized he forgot the house keys <gasps> on a Friday. Oh, no. So he had to drive all the way back, grab the house keys, and then drive Sick. up again. I would have been oh, like, I'm doing I'll this next tomorrow. weekend. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. That's rough. Our I'm cabin is five hours away. And there, yeah. If I, I can't have at least like three nights, four nights, three days, whatever, then mm, I'm not going. My gosh. Five hours? That's a long ride. That's, that re- yeah. That really and then to drive halfway more. and forget something, have to go back and then no. go again? No way. I just buy it. Yeah, we're leaving for Michigan on Friday morning. I'm already starting to pack just to make sure. But what I do is I pack early and then I repack. Yeah. You know, like I'll start putting everything in and getting ready. And then I'll be like, "Uh, mm, mm," and then I'll lay everything out again to make sure. And and I have a race on Saturday too. So of course it's like, what am I going to wear times two, depending on what the weather's going to do. Two shoes. Cause you never know what's going to crazy. You might shit your pants. So you got to bring 12 underwear. Yeah, right. (laughs) During the race, if that happens, I'm just going home. I'm going to have to sit and drive home from Michigan in it. You're It'll like, be my own mud. fault. It's just mud. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Steve's going with me. I don't think he'll go for that. <laughs> you smell like shit. <laughs> just bring the air freshener. Yeah, oh, my gosh. You got Febreze packed in your bag. I get done running. I'm like, the windows are down today. He'll know. He'll know. <laughs> How long was that? Two minutes we talked about poop? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's four it? minutes. Yeah, oh, four minutes in. Four, we're talking okay. about yeah. We yeah. usually talk about poop on every uh, at every hour. So Pretty much. Every episode. Great. Much. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to yeah, more poop talk. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a, a, a picture that's made with blood. Yes. At your gallery. Yes. So should we talk about all the yes. art first and then the bar? Yeah. Let's do that since you brought that up. So do you have any pictures made with poop? I <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> blood is the only bodily fluid that yeah. we currently have on that display. That she knows of. That yeah. I'm aware that of. That's knows. very, yeah. very true. Maybe Somebody's... I'll supply you with a piece of art, <laughs> right? <laughs> to put up. Amber Heard could do that. Well, Amber ah! just heard. <laughs> put a canvas underneath her. She's got you. Good. Uh, yes. Send it off to Kristen. She got a little Mr. Hanky. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> She's I'm got crying. that one for you. Oh, that's all amazing. All right, stop it. I'm crying. <laughs> so tell us about all your pieces. Here we go. So yeah, how yeah. do you get these pieces? And there's, it's just a beautiful gallery. It's so, so fun. It's such yeah, a cool space. We love it's it. my happy place. I yeah. just love being surrounded by all the artwork every day. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Like Bestie and I run upstairs and there's like paintings up yeah. there. And, you know, we, we sneak upstairs, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> I did not go upstairs. I'm good. There's I stay like, within the parameters. We tried to call I'm her. Allowed. We're like, come upstairs. She's like, I am not going up there. You're going to scare me. I'm like, no. Oh, there's a painting up here. <laughs> I know your tricks. We were sassy. Right? We don't touch anything, though. Yeah, right. So sorry. But no, go you're good. You're good. So upstairs, we're actually, um, so that's, it's not open to the public right now, but we do have a couple rooms up there that I would like to eventually turn into artist studios. Oh, yeah. And nice. rent them out as artist space. Amazing. Um, we do have like a kitchenette up there and a bathroom and everything. So yeah, nice. that's kind of in the plans yes. for the upstairs space. Plus, that's my office and all my staging and sure, stuff goes yeah. on. When did you open? So we took over the gallery, it was August 1st of 2020, so right okay. in the middle of COVID. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't wait till we no longer say that anymore. I, It'll I be around know. forever. Because we started the podcast during that time, so I feel flu. like all new uh, business owners say that. Like it was in the middle of COVID, which is exactly right. what we're we not going to have. We're not going to have flu anymore. It'll just be called COVID. COVID yeah. Right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so but for you guys, that's perfect because you don't have to have people coming. Yeah. yeah except for that. We had to call each other yeah. when no. during the times that we had it, yeah. but it turned out okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It turned out yeah. okay. Good. Yeah. So, so when you say take over, was the art there already? Was the bar there? So it was an art gallery um, and a tattoo studio. Oh, oh. So the previous owners, it started as a tattoo studio. I think the gallery was more of like a part-time hobby okay. for his wife. Um, so that was something that she would do um, and have events like every four months, three months or so. Okay. Or every, it was, I think it was three times a year they were doing um, art shows. Okay. But it was more of a hobby for them. And then they did, they had a little bar area that they would serve a few things in, but it was not by any means a full like what it is now. bar like it is yeah. now. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And I think they didn't really do much with it. It was more, here we go. We have an event. Yeah. If you want yeah. some wine, some beer, whatever, um, yeah. they would do that. So um, I love your bar. Thank you. Me too. I'm so happy. You got your library ladder back out. there. Yes, I love short it. people problems. Yeah. Girl. Uh, <laughs> I wish I, I had one of those. Liquor. Yeah, <laughs> I need one of those for my house to get the cobwebs down. I just <laughs> wish it, I wish the wheels didn't lock when I'm standing on it because I would love to just one oh. time just push off. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, you know, yeah. across the bar. Do the but, bell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. But no, I can't do that. It's so how long did they have it? Do you know how how long they so owned I it before you? They owned it for three years. Okay. And then um, they tend to move around a lot. So oh. They're super cool people. Yeah. Um, and when they first opened up in Richmond, I was so excited. I was like, oh, what a great thing for this town. Like yes. Art gallery, this yeah. is so amazing. Yeah. It's unheard of. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know. Like when we no. first stopped in, because I think probably Gina told us, yeah, go over there and yes. check it out, right? Yes. When we were over at the Broad House. Yes. And so we were like, all right, we'll go check it out. We were like, this is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. We even did a live. You did. We did yeah. first. Yeah, Instagram our first. Live. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I was our yeah. first and only Instagram <laughs> live was at your gallery. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I love that you guys were moved by it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I love excited. it. I love it. Was art. Fun. And yeah, there was I a lot of art. drinks going on that night too. So we were, yeah, kind of, we were having sure. some fun. We were definitely having some fun <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it's a good yes. place too, though. You know, it's a it's it a fun is. place. So. Yeah. So they um. What was I saying? Oh, so they owned it. They were talking about moving to Hawaii. And this oh, was wow. like February of 2020. Well, oh. no. So they started in November of 2019. They were talking about they were going to move to Hawaii. So I was devastated. Because this was one of my favorite places in town. I spent so much money there over the years. Yeah. And the artwork and stuff. And their main, their big focus was dark art, which has yeah. a little special place in my heart. Yeah. It's kind I like of my it. jam, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I was devastated when they said mm. they were leaving and I was thinking about it for a couple months. The wheels are turning. I'm laying awake in bed at night. Can't sleep. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. So, I asked, <laughs> so I reached out to him and I was like, guys, have any thoughts of maybe like selling the business? And we started talking and then COVID hit. And then we had a couple more meetings and then 
oh, it'll only be two weeks. Oh, two more weeks. Oh, oh yeah. And it just we know out. that. And I was, I was scared to death. Yeah. You know? yeah. But right, right. Um, I, I knew I'd regret it if I didn't do it. So, wow. so I pulled the triggers. I'm glad Sometimes you did Sometimes you it. just get that feeling. Like, it's like that instinct. You just know it's meant to be. You know? Yeah, yeah. This is like I said. This is that's like, incredible. This is my space. This yeah. So, my... did all the art come with, or some of it? Some of it. Okay. Yes. So they had planned on having a show in March, but then it got canceled because of COVID. Yeah. Um, this is 2020. In 2020, March of 2020, um, and then some of the artists took their artwork back at that point because it was right yeah, after a few months it was just the, the uncertainty was too much to oh bear. yeah especially yeah. With, because we do deal with a lot of international artists as well mm. right right so that was a little scary for them too for so sure. some of the artwork did go back to the artists but then I found new artists brought some more stuff in and we ended up having a show that uh October I believe is when we opened up in 2020 finally in 2020 okay. for that show yes mm. we were able to sneak that in before everything was kind because it was like we closed down and then we opened up kind of and yeah then we and closed then closed down, down again. again so yeah. did you have a good turnout in October surprisingly we did oh good yeah good. okay yeah because I know um, a lot of people still weren't really going out we know well, from going out right a lot you of know. people felt at that point like they I got to get out something yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, so that's great. Yeah, yeah. And I mean it's indoors. So I think people God are forbid. still a little weird about God forbid. that. This has changed everything. It has. It so, really makes you f- think about germs. Oh, but it's I'm like not, <laughs> I'm not though. Like I just like I mean I wash my hands normally. No, no, like you I know, watch like, people yeah. and I'm like, yeah, you're going to go touch some apples now after you oh, just God. like rinsed oh. your fingertips Ew. like oh, and use yeah. no soap Stop in the bathroom. Yeah. I've seen people leave the bathroom without washing at all and I'm like, "Come and they try to run out like, hey, now I was at the movie theater. You eat popcorn at the movie theater. And someone, this woman just walks up and I'm staring at her and she's fixing her hair and she looked at me. She knew she wasn't going to wash her hands. She walked right out. I'm like, disgusting. (laughs) We need to start speaking up. We need to grow some balls. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm watching everybody wash their hands. I'm like, ah, ah, come back here. And I love that she glared at you and said, oh, "Oh, yeah, still not happening. Oh, yeah. She was at, I did. I just, I must have like dirty. So, you know, my mom taught me never to stare. I absolutely was. I'm like, this bitch ain't going to wash her hands. You're like, not even staring. You're glaring. (laughs) Glaring. I'm going to glare at your ass. You're so judgy. I'm going to kill you. We're Judge Judge Judy. Judy. (laughs) We get a little Judge Judy every once in a while. So when you have these art, um, I guess when you have these parties or what do you call them? Yeah. So like events, so events or yeah. um, how viewings. does someone, yeah. Viewings, you know, especially if there's a new piece, does, does someone just walk up to you and say, I'm really interested in this piece or how does that, is it more of a, like I'm picturing people like, okay. Millionaires. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to say it. I only I know exactly. lifetime movies. All right. And Hallmark channel. So they like quietly walk up and like hand you a note and say, Hey, I'll pay you this. Yeah, much yeah, for right. this yeah. Like, how does that work? You know, that's what I'm picturing. I don't live One much. Million dollars. <laughs> So they like just oh kind of like walk up goodness. to you at the bar and they're like, hey, hey yeah. yeah, okay. So um, it, it depends on <laughs> what's happening at that time. At that I time, suppose. okay. So I think it's very important first and foremost to say like a lot of people think art gallery and they think stuffy and stale. Right. Oh, like, yeah. And it is not and that. And it's not so yes. not that. So that's so important for people to understand. Like, But I, I think want... it's her personality though right. that make it not stuffy. Right. You think? Right. Like you walk in and you're like, hey, yeah. <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Yes. It's like, I, I mean, fix you love, a drink. I love yeah. to entertain. Come yeah, on. you do. It's like, it's like walking into your home. That's how yes. I feel when we walk in Good, there. thank you. I yeah. love that because I've heard that before. Other people are Absolutely. like, it's, just, it's like hanging in my buddy's basement. Yeah. You know, or you walk into other places, not saying feeling. bad about anybody, you know, any other places, but you walk in and it's like you don't really feel at home there. Well, some, okay, so you started saying like an art gallery, like people think museum. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, oh yes. my God, I don't want to go in there. What if mm-hmm. I knock something over? Exactly. I'm going to be $30,000 in debt. And it's <laughs> right. Like, right. It's not like that at your place. Do you have you know? pieces not that are $30,000? We do not. No. Oh, right. So, so I can knock shit off the wall and not worry yeah. about it. But <laughs> we could probably afford I mean, it. I would prefer right. you did it. It might take but... a couple payments, but we'll get there. You know, we won't just walk out and not say anything. Right. <laughs> We'll just pull out our credit card. Sorry about that. Sorry. See you next weekend. <laughs> so, so you'll limit your theft to just coffee creamers yeah. and sugar packets. Oh my gosh! Oh that my was so god! Funny. Yeah. I found those the next day. That, that was, was so funny. Like, that was Bestie's idea. Splenda coming from. So, 
so Kristen has a little bar that it's like a tiny bar over by the art on the art side. So you have the it, bar on the left side, and then you have the art on the right side. And there's this little bar. It's like a coffee bar. Yeah. Right? So we set up coffee there's for the events and stuff. Creamer and yeah. sweetener and stuff. And Bestie decided Jerks. that as we were enjoying your art, she was going to continue sticking these creamers and sweeteners in Cass's pocket. So by the time we got back to the bar, Cass had pockets full of this <laughs> sweetener and creamer. And it was, and she's like, wait, what, what is this? <laughs> what is so all confused. this? Who did this? <laughs> so we're handing it over to Kristen at the other bar, the big like, bar. Here, here you go. <laughs> Sorry. That's excellent. <laughs> I did not steal oh. sweetener. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> How many fell out of your pocket, pocket when you got home, though? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's terrible. Oh, it was I'm funny. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. No, it was funny. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. So anyway, so yeah, they we, come up and say, hey, I'm really interested in this piece. How do, I'm sorry. We keep it yeah. I'm so excited she's here. <laughs> I have so many questions, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, those Bacardi pops are yes. starting to kick in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pops. Pops. We're going to talk about those in a minute, too. So, yeah. Um, so when we have art events, um, so we'll have, they'll run about a month. So I'll bring in art specific for a theme. Okay. And then oh. we hang the art and then the opening um, reception is what we call it. So we'll try to have um, as many of the local artists there as well so it's really cool it's like an, an artist reception it's open to the public people can come in walk around talk to the artists um the artists hang out in the gallery the majority of the time talk about their pieces if you want to engage them if you don't want to engage them you don't have to yeah. okay um and then i try to spend as much time in the gallery as possible during those events yeah. and if anybody's interested in anything they just have to come over so a lot of times my daughter will be there she'll help out yeah, so when people are good. interested, yeah. Um, when the when we're we have the lounge open and we're not doing an actual event, then people will see pieces. Sometimes I'll go in with, into the gallery with them, talk about pieces if I see that they're interested. Yeah. Um, or they'll come to me if I'm stuck behind the lounge and ask about particular pieces. When they ask you about the pieces, what are they asking? Like where it came from? If you know anything about the artist, like that? Or so surprisingly. Not so much. Like oh. I think I know. So because well, if I like it, I want. It. It, I'm gonna yeah, buy it. Right, right, right. exactly. And, and I, for I me, mean, it's an interesting story of where it came from, who it came from. But right. if I like it, ultimately, I want it. I'm gonna buy it. Yep. You know. And I'm the opposite. Like I want to know. Really. So when I Absolutely. hang something in my house, people can say, "Where'd you get that from?" Like I stole it from a hotel uh, <laughs> a few years ago. So with that one, I really liked there. it. Yeah. No, but I'll show you the one that I did. <laughs> It's a real quick story. Sorry. Yeah. I know you're here to talk, but oh, we're like okay. talking over you. <laughs> so I was at, I loved garage sailing like 10, 15 years ago. The kids loved going. They always found like little treasures and stuff. And I found a piece that is pretty big. It's like maybe up to my, I'm five, eight. So it's like up to my, my mouth, my, my yeah. nose. So it's pretty tall. And it's just this weird looking whatever. And it was 25 cents. And so I asked the woman that was doing the garage sale and I'm like, is this anything? Is this like, you know, I'm looking it up trying to see there's like an artist signature and all that. And she's oh. like, she's like my, my grandpa's mom or something like that had it. It's been hanging in the family. I don't want it. It's ugly. It's avocado color. So I grabbed it. So I shared I it with my friends. <laughs> I know my, my teacher friends. was avocado color. <laughs> yeah. My teacher friends, my, um, like my friends from golf that have been like, just they're They just have history. They've traveled. And so we were all trying to figure it out. I sent it over to like different art, like in Milwaukee. I was like, I said pictures. I'm like, what do you think this is? Who do you think this is? I'm looking up the signature, found a couple things from the artist, but I can no longer find it anymore. And a friend finally wrote me and she goes, you know what? I think this is hotel art. Like, oh I think it's from a God. hotel. No so way. they stole it probably from the wall because they really liked it and they've had it forever. Stop and I'm fairly it. certain that she's correct. <laughs> but I still have it. And one time, my friend who lives up in Wisconsin, and we started staring at this and she's like, you know, the more I look at it. And it was like we were seeing like a city and clouds. Stop. And the more the I more that, that you look at it, the more you the more find you in it. Did you have to turn so it the other way? We like, did. You turn it upside down. down. <laughs> we turned it the way that the signature was. We turned it sideways, you know. And it's really it's really a neat piece. But it is. It's that avocado yellow. You can tell that it has. It's probably over 100 years old, if not more. Oh, stop it. And so I've had it for a long time. There's so. a black market for hotel art then, clearly. Then, clearly. Yes. And I, I'm I mean, sure. I'm ready to sell mine. I might mine, need to look into that. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you get this? From the La Quinta Suites. <laughs> From the Hojo. 
<laughs> that's some Hojo art right there. <laughs> So that's my art story. I love it. (laughs) You know what? I have art in my house and we have a couple prints from my mother-in-law. She passed away probably about eight years ago or so, but she definitely like kept up trends throughout her life. Mm. Like that was her thing is she would buy prints. She would change her decor. So I have one in the living room. I'm sure you've seen it. Mm-hmm. You sat you sat in front of it for Super Bowl. Yep. The butterfly? It's a big, no, well, no, not that one. Oh. That one I got from the store. <laughs> okay, okay. You didn't <laughs> steal it. No, I did not steal it, but it was normally $100, and I got it for $25. That's a steal. I saw 25 and I was like, boop, take yeah. it. It's Sorry. a butterfly that's like, I don't know, 10 it's by really 10. Neat. Yeah, it's really It's like it's one huge. stroke, you know, just yeah. like how they do Ooh, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, But the print that I have is, it's like an orchid or something. Oh, yeah. And it's white, and it's like purple black background, and I love that one. But then my aunt has brought me a painting also that hangs right by my front door and that's like a real painting and mm. it's just like flowers in a vase and I have no idea where it came from I she's the type of person that would walk into your place and be like I really like that I'm gonna take it thanks mm-hmm. you know like <laughs> just no randomly story. nope nope no. she'd yeah. be like I like it I'm gonna get it it matches my niece's interior it would look great in her living room I'm gonna buy that you know wow. like that's how Aunt Teresa that's is awesome. yeah wow. yes yes oh yeah. that's neat so I think art collectors as a whole tend to appreciate the story behind it. Yeah. Mm. They want to know See, what was going to go. You are. See, there you go. You <laughs> they want to know, you know, what, what it was symbolizing for the artist. So when people come to their home and they've got this statement piece, yeah. they want to be able to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I See, think all I can say is like, oh, that was Johnny's mom's. But that's <laughs> right. still a story though. <laughs> that is that's still yeah, where there it is came a story. from. Yeah. There, no yeah. idea where it came from. Yeah. I mean, if I know about the artist and all that, that's great. But, like, I don't have to. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. I'll gotcha. make up my own story. There you go. Yeah. You should make up your own story every time someone asks about it. Or make up one about the butterfly. Change it every time. Just be like, yeah, I painted that one in 2020 during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, are you kidding? Yeah. Where did you get the canvas? Michael's. Duh. <laughs> Duh. I didn't know you could buy them that big at Michael's. Well, yeah. <laughs> they were on clearance. I probably got rid of them by now. <laughs> they you probably could don't totally make anywhere. something up. You could be like, it used to be a tree. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. So I threw a butterfly over it. <laughs> I had a real artsy fartsy <laughs> stage in my life when I was like 17 trying to find myself. <laughs> Have you had any art where it came in and, you know, I know you said you like dark, but you were like, oh, this is never going to sell, but you're going to give it the opportunity. And then it does sell. Have you had any like that where you're just like surprised that it's sold? Uh, yes. Um, okay. And I've actually, I think one of my biggest shocks that I've had so far is I had this little old lady come in, like just the sweetest thing. And so our space used to be an antique store for many, many years. Yeah. So this woman walks in by herself and I'm like, Oh, she, she thinks she's shopping for antiques now. Mm-hmm. And at this point, we had a lot more dark art in the gallery oh, sure. at this point. And um, so she walks into the gallery and sh- surprisingly, she didn't like turn around and come right back out. So I was like, all right. So I went in, started speaking with her and asking her if any of the pieces spoke to her. And she's like, you know, there were actually quite a few. Mm. I was like, really? I'm like, I would love to know which ones. You yeah, know, yeah. I love seeing where... Yeah, what yeah. people are drawn yeah. to, and yeah. it's right. always interesting because you think you've got someone pegged when you, you know, you make those judgments yeah. when yep. you first yep. see them. And this woman was into like this really cool, like wizardy with like a tree and this holding this apple and wow. it was, like very <laughs> fantastical, you know. Yes. But it had a very dark undertones to it, and she loved that piece. And I was like, wow, wow, I was shocked. Is it similar to the little area that you have by the bar on the left hand side where there's some, it's like a, it's kind of mystical. I think that one, isn't it a tree and maybe I'm like trying to think like, so like when you first walk in and you can see the side of the bar, but on the left side, so it might be blocked by the, well, no, the door opens out, right? The door opens in. In. So So it would be like on that wall right there. That seems like it's. Those are um, paintings of the Milky Way (laughs) galaxy. That artist lives in Spring Grove. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. That's what I was picturing. I don't think I ever looked over there. See, I've been there like what, like three or four times now. Yeah. And I still haven't seen everything in there. 
I feel like every time, every time, time walk I walk in, I'm like, oh, is this new? Nope. Oh, is this new? Yeah. 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 And I do like to switch stuff around too because people come in multiple times and they yeah. just kind of get familiar with the flow. So when yeah. I change up positioning, like, oh, what is that? Yeah. It, people, yeah. yeah they t- How often to do you have to paint your walls more. and fix the holes? <laughs> I'm so bad about it. I'm so, so bad about it. <laughs> hey, it's part of the art. Okay? Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I really try to like reuse the nails like yeah. from sure from yeah. previous shows but it's really difficult because you have like you'll have a wall with this big statement piece and then you've got balancing pieces on yeah. either side but those pieces need to really be similar to the same size yeah. and they need to be seen right right yeah. you know every and artist has needs that chance absolutely right? absolutely and then some of these pieces will have just the wire across the back oh yeah so depending on how the artist put it on sometimes they hang a little looser sometimes they hang a little tighter yeah so those oh, nails gosh. might just need to be moved like oh. a quarter oh, no. of an inch yeah, because never it's not about that. lining up and it's a whole damn process I bet. Like, I bet. hey you know what my yeah. husband swears by those monkey hooks they're called oh i have some yes. i bought some that's what yes. everything in our house is freaking hanging on <laughs> they're awesome. great but when you have to they're a pain to pull out of they the are. wall yeah they and when are. we have to move them around yeah it's yeah, yeah. It, it, so i live rough, so. on command strips and hooks oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah so yeah. usually about like once a year or twice a year something will fall off the wall because the command <laughs> gives up <laughs> so i don't usually use anything expensive to you know hang right. but i'm just like i walk around the house i'm like mm, you're gonna fall next it's like a sconce or something in the bathroom <laughs> I definitely had a mirror that I, it said oh, would hold yeah. 50 pounds. Yes. So I'm like, oh, this mirror only weighs, I actually oh. put it on the scale, it only weighed like 15 pounds. I'm like, perfect. Oh, yeah, that thing shattered. Oh, I was on the phone no. with your boss, yes. actually. I remember. And I was like, yes. um, you know what? Can I call you right back? Something just shattered in my house. I think it was glass outside. No, it was the mirror that I hung from the How command awful. strip. Oh, no. oh, not awful. It's my own fault. <laughs> I think they're like temporary. <laughs> they're definitely things. temporary. Yeah. <laughs> it's like good for Christmas decorations. I, it is. I have them everywhere. Not your mirror. <laughs> right. So when you go into the gallery, you have different, I would say, sections or areas, right? You have like rooms. A couple sort rooms. of. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I like the one little room. It's like the spell room. Oh, oh the side God. room that isn't yeah. in the gallery? Yeah. yeah. Do you do readings there? So that's something I'm wanting to do because I yes. feel like that's what that room was meant for. It, it, it me definitely out, feels like you can't that, go in that what room? needs to happen I mean, there. I went in, but I was just like... Yeah, side eye. It well, has like I mean, the church I, I did bench. hang some of the the, the, the darker stuff That's in there too. Absolutely. <laughs> I still went in there. It creeped yeah. me out a little bit. Yeah. So you have but that room. And then you have like the hallway with the big bench, like the church, the church bench pew. that you have yes. some stuff there. And then on the, you know, going in even further, then you have like different sections, I guess. Yep. So do you try to keep those... Off. Like the same artist? Or how do you... No. So I try to... I have to look at everything that we're bringing in and sizes, and like I said, it's a process. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I, and I have to find a flow. So mm. color schemes are going to come into play. Yeah, okay. And because when you walk into the gallery, I typically want, like, a big, bold piece that's going to grab the attention, and it that's what tends to set the direction for, okay. the, for the flow. Walk. Oh, yeah. God, and then our drunk asses come in, and we're like, what's this? What's this? All right. We're we're we just, flow. like, divide and conquer well, when no. we get there. We stop at the bar for our drinks, and then we go, okay, see ya, and then we all walk differently in different yeah. directions. When you guys came in, we actually, it was pretty random. I had a lot of random stuff just covering nails that were already there yeah. because I, I had, never noticed. we had one of our dear, dear artists um, passed away in oh. December, and it was awful. Um, but we had several pieces of his there. So local or international? Local. Oh, local. no. Yeah. Yeah. I believe he lived in Wakanda. So did someone come and pick Amazing all the pieces man. up? So, yeah. Oh, darn. That's sad. Yeah. That is sad. So I just had to like, but I had other artwork that was out of rotation currently. So I yeah. just, so it was looking a little random when you ladies were in. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't notice. I would never notice. I was so I in mean, shock that we had an art gallery so close to home that I, I just, know. I loved everything. It's exciting. Do you have a favorite piece? I know that's hard. I know. I have so many. I bet. Like I, I I open things up. It's awful. So I'll select pieces for these shows and the artist will ship them in and I'll open them up and they're always way more amazing in person. Oh yeah. So it's so hard. Yeah. Yeah. We have a website, but it's like, if you don't see the piece in person, it's so hard to describe, Mm -hmm. you know, what the, 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 power that it truly has um 
I, there have been so many times where I'll open up this piece and I'm like, <gasps> whoa, this is way cooler than I was expecting. Yeah, you know, yeah. because you see the different details or the frame that they put it in that just fits the piece so perfectly yeah. or th- you miss out on so many of those details from images. Yeah. So I would spend a lot of money in that gallery myself if I couldn't convince myself, okay, I get to see it right. every yeah. day until right. it sells. At least I get to enjoy it for a little while. Yeah. Otherwise I'd be completely broke. Like I, I said, I spent like thousands I would be art. sad if one of my favorite ple- pieces sold. I mean, I would be happy, yeah, obviously, because right. you run a business. Yes. You're there to make money. But I like you it walk in and you see your favorite piece and all of a yes. sudden it's just gone. gone. It's so heartbreaking. It'd be like when people <laughs> go to a, like adopt a puppy that you've fallen in love uh, with. <laughs> right? Yes. That's how I feel. Yes. Like, and I, I want this in my life just forever. One puppy, I want all the puppies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, That's how I feel when I go to the gallery. I'm like, this would be great here and here. And there are puppy. There's the there are puppy toy yeah. oh yes the, we have an artist that does she's local um, right she's local she's in lake zurich yeah and she makes she does custom uh pet portraits with oh yeah she uses a uh, magazine strip so yes. it's like a collage oh. and she puts in about those. little yeah Easter they're the first ones on the left pieces. like the first yes. room, well, I, maybe they were the first rooms on, yeah first I, I moved them <laughs> and isn't there an artist that does we just broken go plates? Again. We do. Yeah. That's the same artist. Oh, that is oh, the same yeah. artist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she used oh, a broken fiesta ware. So she would just oh, use amazing. this old fiesta ware. And there's this piece. It's so heavy. This massive. But it's like a mangrove tree that she made. Definitely couldn't use your mangrove. It's your, mosaic. Uh, command strips. Yeah. No, <laughs> no command strips. No command that strips one. No, in your that gallery. One is, that one is no. on a big screw with an anchor. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and, and do you take sculptures as well? We do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have um, one, our uh, ceramic artist does some pretty amazing sculptures. We had this one. So she had three big sculptures that were part of her thesis project for school. And they were, um, it was light pollution, uh, air pollution, water pollution. Oh, Oh, wow. Were the three and they were massive. And she had the, she built these stands for them. And the one for the water pollution had like a bladder in it. So you could fill it with water. So, I asked her, I was like, can I please buy some goldfish to put in this for the opening event? So she's like, oh, yes. So we had goldfish swimming around in this thing. And then she adopted the goldfish. So she took them home with her that night, which was awesome, you know. But it was just, it it just led to that. And it was right in the middle. So it was such a statement. And everybody was just hanging out there and taking pictures and video with the goldfish swimming around and stuff. But it was, it was really cool. So amazing. Yeah. Do you ever have... Besides us, do you ever have people that walk in, you're like, oh, they're going to be trouble. And then you have to give them like, the <laughs> besides <and> the- you, <laughs> besides when the three of us walk in, are you like, okay, we got to lay some law down She's here. Like, Shit. Yeah. There are like times. no touching. Like, how do you, how so do you, I'm sure you get so busy night. that you have to watch. Yeah. Yeah. And then late at night, um, we will usually close the gallery okay. while yeah. The lounge is still open. Sure, um, sure. Because we do tend to be like a stopping point sometimes yeah. sure. for people. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so we'll we'll close it up. But then if people come in and they want to see if there's anything new and they're clearly not inebriated, I'll oh, yeah. you know, we'll open it You'll back up for them, them to them look. Go walk through. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I definitely want to never had any theft. I mean they have they have to they have to walk right past you to leave, so I can't even it's imagine like them see have a big square under their shirt. Oh, I have to, to share see this here. story. Please do. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, so it was I had just pulled out all the Halloween decorations. So this oh, was in wow. October. Yeah. And I had um some of my mom's decorations after she passed because she loved Halloween. It was her favorite time yeah. of year. So I used a lot of her decorations in the outside patio area because we have that outside yes. oh, yeah. with the fire tables and yes. stuff. So I had this really cool like pumpkin head, scary looking thing hanging from a tree. We had this really nice couple come in this this night. Um and they were walking through the gallery and then they were hanging out on the back patio. We had the fires going. It was a decent night. Yeah. And um they had like one drink each and then he came back in, but I didn't see her come back in. Hmm. He paid the tab and then he walked out the door and I was like, wait, are you forgetting someone? <laughs> <laughs> you came with happened? someone. You came You're like, he's still back there. Yes. So I'm like, okay, that was weird. So I 
I go out and I look out the front door just to kind of see where he's going because that just seemed odd. Yeah. Um, and then he kind of walked around the corner. So I think he was parked uh, yeah. around the side. So I couldn't like see. And I'm like, I know I didn't see her walk out the door, but maybe I was in conversation with. Sure, I, I don't know. Sure. So we step out to the patio like 10 minutes after this happens and that the Halloween decorations missing. Mm. Like, are you kidding me? What what <laughs> is this? Oh my gosh. So it gets better. A couple <laughs> weeks later, because they're not from around town. They're, I think they're from Palatine or something. Yeah. A couple weeks later, they come back in. Like, hi, remember us? Um, You're I think like, I yeah. Might've. I think I left my debit card here. And I'm like, no, you definitely didn't. But I do think you walked off with one of my Halloween decorations. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Did their and, face just drop? Uh, she, oh, yeah. She, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I don't know what got into me. I, and I was like. Rude. And, but you're and, here and you didn't bring it back. Right. Yeah, exactly. So you're not if you were that sorry, sorry. you would have been like, here's your decoration. Right. Did I forget my debit card? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So then there's all these like, oh, you know, we left it at the bar afterwards. And I'm like, what bar? And they're like, the one right over here. I'm like, oh. I said, yeah, I know them. I'll, you know, I'll give them a call and see if they have it. That would Good. not have helped them. And then. I would not have helped them at all. Well. <laughs> I would have been no, like, I was like, because I, I wanted charged. it back. I, I wanted charged it your back. debit card. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't have the debit card. They walked, you oh. know, they paid that night. So I, yeah. But I wanted my piece back. I'm like, that was my mom's, man. Yeah. Like, and that what was like hell? a cool piece. That was so uncool. Like, who does that? You don't steal mm. from a small business. No. You don't steal in Anybody. general. But yeah. come on, yeah. you know? Um, so they had like all these different stories and then all of a sudden they finally admitted to still having it and then asked if she could buy it from me and I'm like it was like it's not about it's not about the it's money. not about the money like that piece like meant something to me you know so he came back the following week and returned it wow. oh, that's nice. and bought a piece of art while he was oh, there oh <laughs> very good yeah for her for Christmas because nice. there was a piece there that she really loved so wow. yeah so if you're listening you guys are more than welcome to come back I'm glad we're we're okay. We got it figured yeah, out. And so buy another good. piece of art. Buy another yes, piece of art every time yes. you come to visit. And bring an extra and Halloween decoration. To yeah, right? No kidding. Give me some bonus decorations. <laughs> I know. You know, my friend had made um, trick or treat. You know the the it's he's like the little guy with the lollipop and he's got the burlap. What is that character, mm, Sam? Maybe. But she made him, and somebody stole him out of her front yard, <gasps> and she was so mad. <sighs> Hold on, I'll show you a picture of it. Oh, his was yes. Hers was way super cute, and so he's know, got the, the burlap, cute little like burlap, burlap scarecrow yeah. thing. Yeah, he carries a candy bag. He's got like a half-eaten pumpkin with the orange lollipop. body and the patches. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah, that's rude. People are awful. I know. Yeah. She was she was so pissed, and she pulled in all of because she would decorate for every holiday. She was super crafty, and she would decorate for every single holiday. After that, she was just like, "Fuck this," you know. Yeah, yeah. I was so pissed. Aww. That's One of our neighbors thinking. stole the pe- a penguin from us. So I used to do like winter wonderland in the back and I could not find another clear bulb. So I put a green bulb in or a red bulb in and that's the one they stole. They were probably like, no, you don't deserve this penguin. You have the wrong colored light bulb in there. And they like rip the cord and everything. Oh I'm like, God. that's fine. It's probably the same people that smash all our pumpkins when we put them oh out on the God. front. <laughs> They didn't steal the other penguins. We got TP'd at Halloween. That was the worst. Yeah, that is the worst because it just really makes a mess. I know. You never can get rid of it. My son TP'd our house one year. (laughs) (laughs) Did he know it was your house? Yes. He thought he was going to be funny. We had just moved to this house and there was fresh snow and he decided he was going to TP the house. Oh my God. We had just moved in. So then he's like trying to blame the neighbor kids. And I'm like, Kyle. (laughs) Come here a second. And I take him into the kitchen because he went out the sliding door off yeah. the kitchen onto the deck to the oh, tree. Stop. There's footprints uh. all over and back into the house. It, fresh in the snow. <laughs> fresh snow. The footprints start at the house. He's come like, back well, to the I, house. Oh and God. he's like, I saw it out there oh. and had to go look. <laughs> <laughs> So when I went to high school, yeah, so it was sorry. like cool to get TP. Right. So yeah. some of the kids that really didn't like hang out with like friends and stuff, TP'd their own house to make it look okay. Oh, so maybe that's I what know. it was. Maybe my, maybe it was a cry yeah, for like attention. Maybe. No, I'm not saying he son. did, but oh, it, I just, no. that just reminds no, me that that's what happened. My son thinks he's really cool, but he's really yeah. not. Sorry, I mom, that I, t- Kyle, that I, I TP'd you, our but. house like every year. No, I'm just kidding. I never TP'd my own house. <laughs> So, 
Kristen brought us some drinks. You know drinks. it. Drink, <laughs> drink, drunk. <laughs> we so have are these a yellow drinks? one, a pink one, another pink one, and a kind of tan oh my brown one. Gosh, yes. I got to work in the morning. Maybe. <laughs> From home. <laughs> no, I got to take the train. It's Wednesday. You can nap on the train. I, I know. Absolutely will. I, know. Yeah. I have to drive an hour and 15 minutes in the morning. <laughs> that's rough. I can walk Shit. to work. So it's a beautiful <laughs> thing. That's awesome. <laughs> when the weather's nice, Jeez. obviously. <laughs> what are the hours of the gallery and the bar? So we are now, starting this week, we're going to be doing Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Um... And we're going to be doing Sundays during the day, too. So we're going to be opening up on Thursdays, probably at 5 o'clock, I think. Okay. So it normally um, was 6, right? It was 6 so on now Fridays and Saturdays for right, the now winter. Now that we're summer. Now that we're, yes. So mm -hmm. we'll be doing probably 5 o'clock on Thursdays. Um, Friday will go 4 o'clock. Okay. And then Saturday will be opening at 2 o'clock. Okay. Nice. Very yeah. good. Very and then good. Sunday will just be during the day. So yeah. it'll be maybe 11 to 4. Four. So okay. we're gonna we're gonna feel it out. Too. Sure, and of course. See, I mean, so, so you're always closed change. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. Yes. Okay. So your main groups that come in, your main gonna be, customers yeah, are the weekends. weekend. Perfect. Long yep. weekends. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And when there's a holiday or something, we'll yeah. and we have nothing going on. Why not? We'll open up if there's yeah. something going on in town. I think you guys yeah, they do some really fun things at that town. Yes. I think you guys should have a Christmas party this year. At the gallery? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've already clipped. I Let's already clicked that I'm going on Facebook yeah. in my yep. mind. Yep, going. Me too. Yeah, that yeah. Would be fun. Christmas party. Christmas party. Yeah. Ooh, can we so all we dress have a up? We have a Halloween party too. I that mean, too. I would go to that I mean, also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a Christmas <laughs> party would be fun. Christmas I was, party. You know would be what fun. else? I was talking to I someone just love the other dressing day. Up. Yeah, me How too. fun would it be if we put together like an adult prom? Like, wouldn't that yeah. be Yeah, I would just wear fun. my wedding dress. But how many men do you think would really come to that? Mine would come. Yeah, he would, like would force up. him to dress up. Or we could just be the nerdy wallflowers that just came in a yes. group. If my friends. husband doesn't come, he, I will find another date. So he, <laughs> has, he has no choice. No. Yes. I think that would be fun. I just don't know how many people would get on board with that. But that's something. Well, I'm one, always two, kicking three, around four. ideas. Yeah. So, yeah. Always <laughs> kicking around ideas. Yeah. I would. Yeah. I would do that. I love it. We love getting dressed up, though. We do. We love Halloween. We love our Christmas parties. Yes. We, now we have a place that we can do all this. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'll dress up for every holiday. I don't Amazing. care. It yeah. could be Arbor Day. <laughs> Put on Do a you dress up like a tree? Big oak costume. Yes, I you know? need to see this. Yeah. I really need to see this. <laughs> you know, it is such a neat space. You can do anything. Like Julia and I went and painted. The paint and sips. Ta talk about oh, yeah, that. Let's, yes. be, let's, we'll get back to the drinks real yes, quick. But let's absolutely. talk about your paint and sips that you the have there. That was so much fun. Your paintings turned out so cute. Right? So cute. Well, yeah. all credit to the teacher. She, I have she's amazing. Such amazing feedback on yeah. her. Um, everybody just loves her because can she you can we mention her teach. name and yes, Le her name is Lexi. Okay, she's um her Facebook page is uh, Little Mountain Art. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, so she does okay. some pretty cool stuff. But she, she is very she patient. The paint and sips. and like as the night went on, people were drinking more wine, so they were asking oh, more God. questions, being a little more obnoxious but fun. Yeah, and she was just like, "Hey, you're gonna want to fill in his eye." Like she was just like, <laughs> <laughs> she was so patience <laughs> he's gonna need some eyebrows and Definitely. let's get him a mouth and you know she was so patient with everybody oh, we had a so good time funny. she's great yeah how so often do you have those may 28th is gonna be our next <gasps> oh. one so she's work she's mocking up the demo right now That's as we speak awesome so, so we don't know what it's calendar. gonna be yet right not yet so we were kind of thinking like flowers and bees because who doesn't love bees oh it's memorial day weekend why can i never and find my calendar memorial day that. weekend okay. right yeah. may 28th may 28th okay. Very good. Eighth, and we do them from five to eight. Yes. But we they did go a little bit over. Late, always tend we to did run go. late. Yeah, it but depends that's okay. on how many people are in them too. Yeah. Because she is so patient with it. And she is great about trying to help people personalize too. For so sure. we had one, it was a winter wonderland scene, but somebody wanted to add a deer in there. So she sat and they oh they my worked gosh. out and they you know, oh, she really? helped them paint a deer. That's Another woman so nice. wanted to add a cardinal to one of the trees. Yeah. And you're so, such a great host. You're always every fifteen minutes you're in there. More wine, more drinks. I more, want to make sure that people you, don't feel like they have to get up to read. You just fill, keep it so, so I try. organized. But like sometimes you're I do checking in. like some sometimes my timing's not always on for like one specific um, person. Yeah, it was on for you us. Know, but it's like yeah. I'll go in, he's fine, and then five minutes later he was coming out to get a drink, and I, so maybe he was just trying to escape for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that's possible because I do try yeah. and make sure everybody has everything that they need 
So, well, so they don't have to get up and miss anything. When we were there and you were a great host, you were going to every table asking and we're easy. Julie and I wanted wine. No problem. Sometimes we're beer drinkers. There was a woman sitting in front of us that must have had an allergy. And so oh. she was asking Kristen, well, what do you have? And Kristen's, oh, yes. you know, naming off, well, this is included because you get one drink free, right? Or one, yeah, one one's beer, included. Uh, domestic beer or glass of wine yes. is included. So she's yeah. like, here's what's included. About, and she's like, oh, well, and she's asking these questions. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so good for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, does it have citrus in it? And you're oh, like, that's I don't right. know. Yeah, like, like red wine. Like, it was yeah. the red, yeah. Does it I'm have like, citrus in it? Or does it have yeah. like water in it? Or I don't know what she was water. allergic to. I don't know what she was, it was allergic something, to. It, it was something and you very stayed interesting. so patient. I, and then I think finally you said, do you want to just come to the bar and yeah, take a she look? Came to right? the bar and looked at the bottle <laughs> and ended up having a glass of wine. Yeah, so. I think they ended up having a couple bottles there. So they, they ended did, up being yeah. good good guests. Yes. She must not have been allergic to it. Nope. It turned out very well for her. Little Mar- mountain art a little so mountain okay. art yeah mountain. may 28th art. may 28th for those that are listening to this before that yeah so that Very will be fun. on um once we have the demo the mock-up for it it will be posted on the aeon gallery facebook page okay very um, good. And then I'll, I try and share. We do have the two pages, so it makes things a little right. difficult. Right. I was just going to mention so that. We have Aon Gallery and we have Aon Lounge. I still sure. need to figure out how to combine the two. Yes. But any art-related stuff goes on the gallery page. Any drink specials or anything we're promoting for the lounge obviously goes right. on that page. Yeah. Um, and I'm at first, I didn't want to like inundate one or the other. Like if people sure. are there just about the art, I don't want to like be throwing all these booze right. no i get it or right. new I get cocktails it. or whatever and the but. lounge is very nice she has the tables you have the high tops yeah. mm-hmm. and you have the bench in the back and with and the shelf and then yes. and can we talk about drinks and can we talk about the bar so every time we're there and we get a little tipsy we're staring at your bar top <laughs> <laughs> because it's beautiful <laughs> What is it like epoxy and i feel right? like yeah. if i'm awkward yeah. and don't want to talk to anybody yeah, i just look down board. and i'm like it's like the universe or something it's like green sparkles because <laughs> i'm awkward when it's i'm like out. my basement floor <gasps> yes it is so can we talk can we talk about that yeah absolutely okay. so we have our little uh, local local guy that is super creative um so we had him he built the shelves that are behind the bar so oh we have all God. that exposed brick yes so yes. He, he got these you know these large chunks of you know shelving and burned them to give them you know, a, a cool like rustic yes, feel very cool and we used gas um a black gas pipe piping yes as wow. to as a support so it doesn't take away from that brick that exposed yes. brick like i didn't want to cover it up i wanted to work with it and just really and it, it's the entire wall is just shelving and brick and Booze. It's, it's lots very and lots cool. of booze. Lots of booze. Yeah. Lots of booze. Um, and then the bar top was that was a that was a big project. Yeah. Um, but it's an it's an epoxy pour or resin pour. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna feel awful. But um, so he had to build out the bar and little braces and kind of close it off because it has that waterfall drip on the front. Yes. So it pours oh, down. Yeah. So he had to completely seal it off so none of the epoxy was like spilling all over the right. floor once you pour because it, it just runs and finds any crevice that it yeah. can and just and goes. fill it in yeah yes. absolutely <laughs> wow so yeah we did the um so we did this the, the black base and then this beautiful emerald green oh my gosh it's so and pretty we just you just like poured it on just this line the straight line all the way along the bar and then i just came in and started playing with it to make cool designs in it, and I love the way it, it turned it out. It really turned out it so nice. It was so much fun. Yeah. We did have a little oops, so you know how the bar wraps around a little bit, so mm-hmm. we had to build that completely oh, yeah. out. Well, it was it was the middle of summer when we were doing this, and the the green started to boil in the bucket, because it was in a smaller bucket, and that oh stuff gets God. hot. And it was hot in the gallery. It was the middle of the summer, and there's no breeze right there, so it started boiling boiling on the oh bar my, top oh after God. we poured it like it's bubbling i was like oh, what is this but that is like my favorite spot on the bar and That's people don't see that crazy. spot because it just it looks so different it, it doesn't have that flow it's like all this like cratery bubbly oh my god it's so just cool looking. so next character. time you're there you have to yeah. check it out okay, yeah, well, uh, yeah that's my favorite time. my favorite spot on that bar but it's i love the way it turned out yeah just it's that, so pretty it, i wanted something that was gonna stand out and if you're taking a picture of a drink at the bar and somebody yeah. else sees it. You want a pretty I'm background. hoping that yeah. they're going to think, oh, hey, I know that bar. Yes. I know. I've been there. Or, And I like that it's not a very big bar. There's 
like eight chairs, six chairs, maybe. Yes. Because I feel like it's like come in, get oh, your at drink, the bar itself, and then yeah. back up and let someone else get their yeah. drink. Because I almost feel like you're when you're there, you're um, I don't know, like uh, performing or something because of how the bar looks. Does that make sense? She's like because it's an absinthe. Yeah. Absinthe is that how you absinthe. pronounce? Yeah. So and so like when you when you um, order a drink, then you're there like on the ladder, and then you're getting what you need, <laughs> and, you know. So it's like it's like a show. I'm an acrobat behind yeah, the bar. I guess I'm probably saying it terrible, but it's yeah. like. I feel I like I when it. you get there, it's like you're watching her do all this stuff. And <laughs> and then it's like, okay, now I'm going to back up and let other people watch yeah. her do her stuff. Because yeah. it's not like real big. It's not real big. So then you just kind of step back and you sit by the lounge or you start walking through the gallery if it's open. Yep. And, or go hang right? out on the back patio. Yeah. You know, the weather's nice again. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm really oh, excited to come yeah. up again. Now. I took the, mm-hmm. I took the uh, have canopies have, like, down. Tomorrow. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, we're closed. <laughs> Let's talk about your drinks. Yes. Okay. What are we looking at So here? we specialize in absinthe, as you are aware. So mm. we do traditional absinthe drips. Can you tell people what that is for those that don't know, like, yes. mewa? Absinthe black licorice. is a very unique spirit. <laughs> yes. So it has a black licorice flavor. Very. Um, there's anise, fennel, and wormwood are the three big. Um, so that anise is very forward with the flavor in any kind of absinthe you have, it's going to be. Say, in there. I never knew fennel and wormwood. Yeah, yeah, wormwood, okay. isn't it in Malort? Yes, <laughs> it is. Right? It okay, is. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh my yes. gosh, I knew something about drinking. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so absinthe has a super sordid past, like a dark and crazy history. Good. You know, um, it was banned from 1905, oh, 1912 to 2007 oh, in wow. the U.S. Um, and in many European countries, too. Some of the European countries banned it in 1905. So it was um, there was this huge temperance movement against it because a lot of the creatives drank it. It was very big in um, French cafes. Yeah. Okay. So Edgar Allan Poe and, uh, uh, sorry, Picasso, Oscar Wilde, Hemingway, they were, like, the creatives, you know. Amazing. Um, and, <laughs> and then there were also degenerates you know which was like the big temperance movement was like that was what they were pushing for like these just it makes you crazy and you lose your mind i'm feeling like maybe it was the opium that did that not the absence right right (laughs) or like who knows what else i mean maybe the syphilis parisian cafe (laughs) very possible (laughs) very possible I heard it there makes you was lose your mind. Definitely <laughs> something going on, yeah. And they thought like it would cause hallucinations and all this stuff. And there's still that myth behind Stigma, it, kind of, yeah, because of the wormwood, right? Um, but you would die of alcohol poisoning before you actually hallucinated from drinking okay. absinthe. Okay, mm. um, it's it's not a ton of wormwood, and it, it wormwood in excess, and I mean talking big excess. Um, can cause seizures and mm. all sorts of fun things, but yeah, you're not going to get that, right? You know, everything it, in moderation. Everything yeah. in moderation. So, yes. and then you brought up Malort, which yeah, Malort made it through. Um, what do you call that when we couldn't drink? Prohibition, yeah. prohibition, mm-hmm. because it was technically medicine, right? Well, right. You yes. Know, it so, was, and uh, that's what's interesting because absinthe is herbal as well. Yeah. I mean, it's mm-hmm. all herbs, and they use a a neutral grape alcohol. As okay. the base, and then it's you know you have twenty three different herbs in it, but it's always going to. Am have I going to die from this? Am I allergic no. to this? No. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I have terrible allergies. I'm a little nervous now. You'll be okay. <laughs> have you ever had malort? Oh, no. no. And I've never not had a, fan a drink Malort. from you. I usually chicken out, and I'm like, I'll take a beer. She does, and that's why I brought some samples of some of our specialty cocktails. I'm going to do a little sippy sippy. You'll do a little, 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 little sippy sippy. You already yes. had a Benadryl today. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm over so, here like, drink it. Drink She'll it. be passed right? out on the floor. Oh, yeah, exactly. We'll just keep talking. She'll wake up yeah. eventually. <laughs> we don't just hit the pause Meredith. button whenever you're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So let's start with the traditional absinthe drip. Okay. So oh, so this is This just, green one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Cheers. this is Cheers. absinthe, and you drip ice water over a sugar cube into the absinthe, and it changes the properties of it because it starts clear and then gets a little cloudy. Okay, okay. It's such a unique spirit, and the buzz that you get from it, it has stress-reducing properties. Ooh. Yeah, it's... It's, it's an acquired flavor. Anise. Mm. Right? Isn't that what it's... Uh, anise? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I don't know if the anise, anise... I've heard it pronounced both ways. It's... <laughs> 
It makes my breath hot. <laughs> I remember the first time we came in and you were like, oh, try this drink. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And then I was like, it's absinthe, isn't it? And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but I drank it. I you sucked did. it up and I drank it. It's very good. I mean, I like the smell of it. I'm sorry. It's, I cannot smell my microphone. <laughs> I'm scared of it. <laughs> I can't stand black licorice. I no. will never eat black jelly beans. I will never eat black licorice. I I'm love not a fan. Black. But oh, jelly. I like black. <laughs> but it's like black. It's my favorite. All right, color. I'm done drinking. Yeah, by done. the way, you just took one sip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. She had a Benadryl. <laughs> I had a Benadryl. <laughs> this is Meredith's a little loopy today. <laughs> yes, I'm a little scared. Uh, so then we'll move on to something because I know you are not a fan of that flavor Woo. at all. That's okay. So some of our specialty cocktails, they all of our specialty cocktails have absinthe in them in some way. Yeah. Okay. So if we go to the... Is it this one? The brown one? Yes. The okay. almond cookie. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is, is it like a little full for me? Is that... Okay. I feel like... No. So Cheers. this is an amazing... Cheers amaretto that we brought in oh my it's gosh not that the sm- De so this smells like the cookies that my ma- my mom makes at christmas she has the press what are those called that are oh Spitz. pizzelles oh um, pizzelles no not pizzell the real thin ones they're yes they're pizzelles they're they, it's delicious this is almond. so and this is a great starter because do you taste the absinthe in this at all no Okay, because we just spritz the inside okay. of the glass with it, Ooh, so it's my not. My gosh, you're not going to get that super absinthe flavor in this. One. I feel like this would be perfect after we eat brats at the brat house yes. to come have for dessert it, over by you. It goes down so. And nice. this is new. This um, almond cookie. Nope, we've had this one. You guys just haven't tried it. You okay. haven't made your way around yeah. through the through this. Yeah. Well, my, my dumbass was trying to order one. Coors non-alcoholic. <laughs> <Right? last laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna like. Yeah, she's ordered not. I didn't want to say anything. I'm like, Which, because generally by the time I make it to you, I should be drinking. You a probably ice should water. be doing non-alcoholic. <laughs> And can so we those just mention that we get to her house. early, like I know. <laughs> 6 p.m. The I green know. light's on and we're there. So it's what barely happens dark to us out. No, you that. were like our first. We actually had a line waiting to get in. You did. You guys were our, and we were it. You we were, were our in first line, time. We, we had Why a are we still messed up at 6 p.m.? That's awesome. <laughs> because we start at noon. <laughs> That's true. That yeah, is very true. We did. This is so good. This one is very good. I like this one a lot. So this one is a good one. So this is a drink that's dangerous. Yes. Yes. It's so good. You drink, 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 and then all of a sudden, yeah, it hits you. It, it hits you, right? Well, so it's amaretto though. So amaretto isn't super strong. Oh, so strong. you can drink a whole yeah. bottle of that. So yeah. you can, yeah. yeah. So we have the oh. Gozio amaretto is what we use, and it is far superior to any amaretto that has ever crossed my lips. So, and it, it we've tried this with like a different brand of pineapple juice too. It doesn't have the same effect. So it, I don't it has to be this amaretto. In there. And the, I do. Do you? I can taste the sweet a little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's not. I don't a feel ton. like it tastes like pineapple it's just very almondy sweet sweet yes yeah yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it definitely lends Ooh, some good. sweetness it's to very it good. so yeah i like this mm-hmm. one a lot that one's really good i like that one mm-hmm. yeah me too. very good and Almond then if we go to this cookie. pink one here. okay okay so that's like the the cloudy f- pink one yeah cloudy pink one all right cheers. So, cheers. 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 so what is another this one, one. Cheers. this is called the wharf rat and this is another one that's the good for people rat. who want to tr- you're going to taste a little bit more absinthe in this one okay but they're not quite sure that they can handle the absinthe and they want to try. So this is a good starter. Is that grapefruit? Cocktails. No. Tastes like grapefruit. Really? <laughs> I, do, I taste <laughs> like grapefruit. <laughs> I taste the citrus. <laughs> <laughs> is there citrus in here? <laughs> There's orange juice and grenadine. Okay. okay. And then a couple different uh, boozes. Okay. So we've got some, boozes. We got some uh, absinthe. We've got some rum. We've got. <laughs> wow, this is apricot, I like this apricot, one. Uh, I'm still really a fan of almond apricot? cookie. Apricot. What is yeah. this one called again? Huh. This is the wharf rat. Okay, wharf rat. It's uh-huh. the one that spread the plague, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's sweet, but it's got a little bit of a kick to it, right? I like this one. Yeah, yeah. because but yeah. you can still is... taste the absinthe, but it's not yes, super right. forward on the yes. palate. Right. Yes, yes, not like the first one. Right, right. Not that like first one that was a right? traditional yeah. drip. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's why I wanted you to start with that one, so you got knew what that flavor was for sure. 
This, yeah, I like yeah. this one. This very is fun. Very refreshing. This one's good. Yes. Very mm-hmm. refreshing. This is also a very good after dinner drink, I yes. would say. Yes. Yes. I feel like they good all are. Drink. <laughs> I feel like they all are. <laughs> well, I, yeah, this okay. is after dinner. This is after dinner. This is start your night <laughs> that actually yes the original if, the original, the original yeah. just to night. do that drip because I, yeah. I do like starting my evening with a drip because it does have those stress reducing properties and yeah. I just kind of get like all ha ah, and I get a little relaxed and then sometimes I'll get a little giddy you know yeah it's, yeah it's a cool buzz it's unlike anything yeah it's more of like a body buzz yeah so it's, it's and does so it different last from a, a any while? other like, will spirit it last you all night or it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, I feel like a couple hours least, I'm yeah. good, but you know, then I'll tend to follow up with something else. So it's sure, hard to course. say if, yeah. when it truly wears off. And they're like, now I'm feeling a little like whiny, yeah. right? A little beery. I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> sure. I'll sure. have some nights where I'll have that second drip. You know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Depending yeah. on who's in, you know, <laughs> for sure, for <laughs> Who sure. I have to deal Especially with. Especially when we're there. Exactly. That's it's like, like turn it on. I don't even <laughs> add the water. It is unpalatable. You're not supposed to drink absinthe straight. Like people ask for shots and. I'm like no, I can't. No, I can't. Not gonna do it. I, I cannot do that to you. You know, yeah, because um, they just have no idea. But when They've you guys walk it. in, I like I chug right out of the bottle. Stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's why there were so many empty bottles up on the ledge. <laughs> right. Every time we come like, in, there's like six oh, of them. So every shit. time we come, come in, she drinks. They come, they're coming down the street, just start <laughs> chugging. And... Gina and Jerry probably call her. They're on yeah. their way. They're yeah. on their way. Yeah, right. They saw the green Warning. light turn on. Warning. <laughs> she lets them know. Gina lets you know before you even open. Yeah, like, yeah just they're so you're here. here. You might the wanna. one didn't even eat any dinner. <laughs> Oh, that one. <laughs> I was so mad that night, too, because I was like, we're going over there, and then we're coming back to Brat House, and I'm getting cheese balls. And then we got back, and the kitchen was closed. It and I was, was like, closed. Oh. I was like so mopey, like, all right, let's just go home. Okay, just but for because future we hung at the gallery for a long time. You, that's why. Can, you are welcome to bring food in, because we do not serve that. food. Thank you. Okay. So yeah. you are always okay. welcome to bring food so in. So order your or... balls, and then head over to the And then Aunt I can just eat them like popcorn while yeah. I look. Yeah, I mean, clearly you're going to have to share if you're bringing the cheese yes. curds from Broadhouse. You're going to have to share the pretzels, yeah, <laughs> or the pretzel. We can share yes. the pretzels. Yeah, yes. we'll do that next time. Yeah. We'll bring you food. Oh, yeah. Although pretzel. usually we see you at the Broadhouse yeah. having dinner first, and then you go work. Yeah. Tonight, so I right? had a friend in town. I had a couple friends um, from out of town, yeah. from out of state, that were in that time. So that's, oh, why, that's why I okay. ended up there that okay. afternoon. We were all meeting there first. You knew it was going to be a long night. So yep. <laughs> better put some food Gosh, in your belly. Gosh, I looked over at us and was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was so happy to see, see you guys. See, that one's not eating again. Day drinking. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like a thing now. Like if we stop somewhere, we have to go to the other place. To. Whichever yes. way we start. Yes. You know, we have to go one and then yeah. the other. Well, so. when you're, there's yeah. so many great places in Richmond. There, no, there nope, really we only go to two. And we only go to two. We only go to two. We go All of the places guys don't great. get there early enough. Like the cafe is open yeah. in the mornings. Yeah, right. Their coffee is so good. Yes. And they're amazing people. Absolutely. Um, and yeah. they're kind of right next door to you, right? Or just a couple just doors a couple, down. Just a few doors down. Yeah, I've yeah. been there before. Very, very good. And well, the ice cream shop is enough. open. So now Ooh. they're open until nine. So, All right. All so right. I grew up You could up always in get Richmond. ice cream before you come over. And when I grew yeah. up, every single one of those places was an antique shop. Yeah. You it, know it, what I mean? Yeah. Every mm. single it's one of the, them. the town of yesteryear. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, and it was yeah. all, that's all it was, was antique shops. I'm so excited for the direction this town is going. It's amazing. I love hanging out there. Love it. Me too. I love living there. Yeah. I just I love our town. I is it pretty love quiet? Our town. It is. Well, yeah. so we're we're I don't know, a few blocks from there, yeah. but we're unincorporated. We're like right but we're still kind okay. of in the downtown area. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um but I can sit in my backyard. No, Country Thunder Weekend. We can Ew, kind of hear. It's so annoying. Yeah. We can hear some yeah, of the bass that's right, if right we're up there. sitting out by the fire or whatever. Yeah. But in our backyard, we're on a little over an acre, like an, one and a third acres. And Very nice. And at night, I mean, we can still see the stars. The oh, stars in it. Richmond and, compared there's, to there's, the stars out here is amazing. Yeah, because we don't have as much yeah. light pollution, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So they really do. The, the village does an amazing job of trying to keep that historic feel yeah. Yeah. and that small town feel. Yeah. And not a lot of towns do that anymore. I feel like these historic buildings in the yeah. downtown area mm-hmm. are there. There's preservation, you yeah. know, they're, they, they very, they limit what you can do with these buildings, right. which some people don't like so much, but as long as it's 
progress is being yes, made and sure. we're still holding on to that character and that charm yeah. Yeah. and they're not all antique shops anymore exactly no, oh, the cool buildings are so yeah. beautiful the one you're in is beautiful i just love i love all the brick right? yeah. and it's so yeah. unassuming from the outside it it's is so ugly outside and then you step in it's like whoa yeah really? yeah Very neat. i wouldn't all say it's exposed. ugly from outside no, i wouldn't I mean, either compared but... to all the because it's not as historic as the other yeah. so it was the old it used to be the um the richmond hotel Back it used in to the be early nineteen hundreds. Really? Is it haunted? Yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I should not have said that now because Cass is not. I'm never come back. going there again. <laughs> I knew that room was creepy, dude. And no, I knew I didn't want to go upstairs. upstairs. Actually, that room is your safe space. You just don't want to go upstairs. Shit. Probably that room is your safe space. You know, when that's, I go upstairs, nice I room. feel great, but I do feel like I'm being watched. Like, yeah. like maybe they're just like, "Hey, what are you doing up here?" But we only go to the like, top you guys of the are stairs, freaking me and out. we see that real big painting that you have up there, and then we come back down. Uh, so she's yeah. like, "There's no real big painting up there." What are you? Yeah, right. About? Yeah. <laughs> is it- it's the one where the eyes look at you. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, to the left? Yeah. <laughs> Someone always says yeah. hi when we're up there. We thought oh, you were in your God. office. Right? <laughs> I'm so creeped out now. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so but much no, history. There, there was definitely a heavy presence. So that, that, that building burnt down twice. Oh, shit. This, as the hotel. That second time somebody died in it. So oh, okay. I think, yeah, there was definitely a really heavy presence when we first took over. So we saged it. And yeah, that oh helped God, with that. God. But there's still, like, it, we just saged for, like, the negative, heavy. Sure. Because I was uncomfortable being there by myself. And I'm open to all this stuff. But I was very uncomfortable being there by myself you know in what? the evening, upstairs in my office. Because yeah. that, when you walk up those stairs yeah. to the left, it was, it was in that area mm. that was just super heavy and just made me very uncomfortable Ooh. it was yeah i'm uncomfortable like being it. in my own basement by myself <laughs> <laughs> like i still like run up the stairs <laughs> do, you, do you jump into bed so nothing grabs your feet of course from under i do the bed? yes <laughs> yes i have to hurry up and like move the blankets and like huh, you know <laughs> and i was laughing because my friends so a, a couple of friends of mine he said hey you know my girlfriend has these tickets to go to this haunted asylum and Ooh. i'm sick do you want the ticket i go I don't even like scary movies, dude. Like, <laughs> I I hate haunted houses. Okay, you know? so now I know when uh, Halloween comes around, can yeah. we please, can we please all go to a haunted house together? Because oh, I really, I my favorite part of the haunted houses <laughs> are the people that don't like haunted houses. Oh my like, God. that's the best. <laughs> you know you what? You are so entertaining, and like, I love that. I have to pee <laughs> the whole time in line. So maybe where it depends. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm the whole time I'm walking through, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I get so scared. I blame my mother. So it was me, my mom, and my sister, and she would make me go first, and then it was my mom, and then it was my sister at the back, or vice Your mom versa. Was smart. And yeah. like, she would always make us go first. You know, I've only been to a few, and usually I would go with a group so that I can hang on to someone in front of me and yes. just put my head in, in their the back. Middle. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. It. No, some of these haunted houses, like the scarers are on to wow. you. Just so you know, we'll just like, go upstairs to your office on the left. So that'll be enough it. for us. My daughter used to be a haunt actress. You know? Oh yeah. So they're they're they get on to you, like those people that you could tell mm. they want to be in the middle because they get scared. The Those scarers the that they will go now to. go after the middle ah, people. Like gosh. they can, they can pick you out of a crowd, yeah, and they no. know who to mess with. So, oh my gosh. please, Cass, can we go to a haunted house? Oh, we can go to the haunted hayride that's around here during there we go. children there you hours. Go. There we go. During children totally hours. Handle during the handle day, that. Day, yeah. daylight. I can totally. Oh, no, we that. should do like we should find some like haunted woods or something. Oh, oh god. Oh, like Blair yes. Witch Project. Yes. Make me throw up. I'm so scared. <laughs> I get so terrified. <laughs> I get so oh terrified. God. Let's talk about this fourth drink. Oh, oh, all right. Let's, let's, one let's more. stop one more. hallucinating okay. and talk about this fourth drink. So, so this, this is like one. a peach, but not real bright peach color or tan color. Yeah. 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 So this is called the mortal stain. Now this one is oh, really is interesting. Strong. So <laughs> I'm going to give, yeah. So this one is definitely for um, people who are a little more adventurous with the absinthe flavor. Okay. Definitely but, us. I when I'm going to mention a flavor. Oh, wait, take a first sip. Okay. I think first just so you're not caught off guard. Are you picking any flavors up? Like what's the first thing that comes to your mind there? Well, the first thing is black licorice. Yeah? Okay. For you too? Oh, definitely black yeah? licorice. Okay. Now I want you to think <sighs> cherry juice. Okay, now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Cass is like, right? What? right? Okay, now take another sip and think sour apple. 
Yeah, that's the that's stop it. it because that's I it. already had a little <laughs> at the end of it. Sour apple. That's it. I knew it was something. It's apple. I can yeah. taste the apple in there. I can't taste the cherry though. So whichever flavor you're thinking of, for me anyway, I feel that's the flavor that comes the most forward stop. when you're taking a sip. This one is a fun one. And you know, I like it's how cold these so are cool. too. You can tell they were all on ice. Like she brought them with a cooler and stuff. Yeah. Like I did. I brought, like I brought my own ice. Yeah. So I like yeah. chilled them before. Yeah. yeah absolutely. I, I, I wanted to make sure you guys were this tasting is a fun the way they're supposed to be. Right? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's not. I that one's very I good. I think it's refreshing. It's unique. Mm-hmm. Like they're flavors that you wouldn't think to put together, but somehow it works. We love, I love concocting new yeah. beverages. So we're doing, um, summer's coming. So mm-hmm. I'm starting to play with new Today was summer. Things. It was. It went zero to 60. We went from winter to summer like I walked that. outside yeah, and I was no like, spring. yeah. did I go to Florida today? <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice. All like sticky and <laughs> gross. My and I'm like, were so- <laughs> but guess what? There's sunshine and I needed the sunshine I know. so I, bad. Yeah. I think everybody did. It's mm-hmm. been awful. I told myself today, I was like, I will not complain that it is hot. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. No, no. Exactly. Not I'm yet. like, and I'm like, I'm menopausal. So I'm like having hot <laughs> flashes and I'm like, I'm not. No. No, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Let's go through the list one more time. So okay. what people okay. know what to order when they get there. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so the okay. yellow we one. We have the traditional too. absinthe drip. So okay. we have four different kinds of absinthe. And that's over sugar cube? That is over sugar cube okay. and ice water. That's all that's in there. And then we have. And then we had the. Almond um, cookie. Oh, the almond cookie. have a little more yep. of that. So that one does not. You're not mm. really going to get a lot of absinthe flavor mm-hmm. out of that one. Because we just spritz the inside of the glass. That one is my favorite. Yeah. Okay. That one is delicious. And then the wharf rat. Yeah, so which okay, is so this a nice, pretty warm, reach, refreshing, right? yeah. good summer. That was a good drink. after dinner. That was drink a good also. one. All right. Yeah. And then the last and one then was the Mortal Stain. Yeah, that's it, you know what it looks like it. <laughs> right. If I was a mortal and I stained something, this is the color it would be. <laughs> so when Sour Patch Kids had Sour Patch Zombies, <laughs> yeah. we were oh. using those as a garnish yes, for this. Yes, perfect. Because it kind of has like a Sour Patch Kid flavor to it yes. too so very good yeah that was uh that so was you have finish. you i'm sorry you were mentioning that you have summer drinks mm. so, I, so are I'm, any of these part of it or these are your these are on our signature cocktail list. okay so these we've had for a while these were like one of the first cocktails that we started with okay um we're now i mean obviously we all we have a full bar so we have wine we have beer yes people aren't privy to absinthe they are not brave enough to try it yeah we have options yes. um we have non-alcoholic Op- options as yep. well um so i've been playing around with bloody mary recipes so i'm thinking we're going to be doing something with the bloody sundays yeah um we're going to do a bloody mary a bloody maria with tequila mm-hmm. Ooh. and a bloody fairy with the absinthe Ooh. So, yes have you had a uh what is the, it's like a bloody mary but it's made with tequila that's the bloody maria but they have Instead of tomato juice, they make like um, with the tomatillos, almost like a salsa e tomato oh. juice. Oh, wow. Right? So, so it's green instead of red, and they're freaking delicious. I'm going to have to look into mm. that. Yeah. So I would just yeah, like to yeah. mention. I like that. Because yeah, yeah. I'm still playing with recipes. I have you not have perfected that, that one you yet. Have so that idea thank free you. Of charge. I'll be hitting you up. I appreciate that. <laughs> I would like to mention that you posted a very nice post about your Bloody Marys that are coming up. And do you know that only the only people that commented were people that were talking about the straws she used? Yes. That was it. Right. Nothing like, ooh, looks good. They were like, I wish people would get away from plastic straws. Fuck you and your plastic <laughs> right? straws. Okay. <laughs> If you I really bitch. wish restaurants would use the paper straw. I'm like, are you I serious I fucking hate right paper now? straws, so, and you can all shove them up your oh, ass. Oh, the paper <laughs> straws are awful. And they're but packed in plastic, woman, okay? Right. This one woman did recommend something that they're used, I think, shit, grass or something. So they're, <laughs> uh, yeah. But they add an herbal flavor to it so that might not be bad yeah they can make them out of clippings but i feel they can like make they them out might... of pasta too but nobody wants to drink but from spaghetti no, because the pasta <laughs> right the pasta ones i feel are flowery yeah so it does change the flavor I of the drink well, i was so super I'm upset for you i'm like really maybe with those grass bamboo whatever they were maybe they might lend some cool flavor to a bloody mary or the bloody fairy that yeah could. so maybe yeah. bringing them in specific for that but a lot of our cocktails don't really take straws like there's i mean yeah. anything with with 
with a lot of ice, them are sippings. we are going to use yeah. a straw. I think even a Bloody Mary, you don't even need it. You don't have to, but I just couldn't believe that she posted such a nice yeah. post, and that's and her, what they and talked about. I can't. Like, are you serious? People They're are so negative. Pretty, so. It was one of those times where I was like, type, 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 <laughs> delete, 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 type, yeah. type, type, type. Like I just wanted to like, <laughs> I, you're seriously? like ready to jump in and defend my honor. Yeah, I, well, I, I absolutely that. was. If they want to be mad about something, tell them to be mad at you know. Everything else except for a straw. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> About all I the know. water pollution from the huge companies that just dump chemicals into the river. That yeah. is, yeah. I'm going to bring These that up. These are probably the same time. people yeah. that don't wash their hands at the movie theater. I'm yes. just saying it. I'm just saying it. Full circle. I like how you did that. It's the one Jesus warned us about. <laughs> Oh, oh, amazing. That's great. Amazing. So we're starting with, uh, we're playing around with some summary recipes. So we're, we have, um, I brought in the Bahama Mama oh, boozy yeah. pops. So that we're doing yes. adult, like adult freezy pops with booze. So we're using Bacardi. Doing and you a, make them uh, there, right? Yes. And seal them yourself. Yes. And yes. Those were very good. Thank you for yeah. bringing those. those Welcome. Good. Yeah. Very yeah. refreshing. Yeah. Now that we've got heat. Yes. I think those are going to be really nice in the summer. And That's I already had, like, I've given some samples to other people too. And they're like, perfect. Oh, do you have them in stock yet? Yeah. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah. You know? yeah. Who helps you at the bar though? I feel like you're a one woman show and then maybe a so, fiance is in there. Har- yeah. Harley is an amazing <laughs> Hi, Harley. fiance. Hi Harley. Hi honey. We love you. <laughs> Sorry. I he accused is. you of stealing. <laughs> oh, tell that Remember? story. Yes. Oh my God. I was like, what are you doing back there? You better not be stealing. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> he was like, I work here. My fiance like, no, you owns don't. this place. No, you don't. <laughs> He's stealing. He <laughs> is my powerhouse. Like he helps with everything that I need help with. Yeah, so awesome. he's he's amazing and super supportive and couldn't ask for a better guy. But he's really, yeah. Um, and he, I mean, he's not this poor guy. Like he was <laughs> thrown out of his element completely. When oh. I was like, I need your help behind the bar. He's never bartended oh, a yeah, day in yeah. his life, nor has he ever been in the service industry, you know? Yeah. So this poor guy, um, but he's done so great, like learning the recipes. And yeah. I was going to say, like, if you're at like a mom and pop beer and shop place, it's not too hard. But like you this, have some, we are you have, it, you're definitely yeah. a specialty. Yeah. Like yes. You need to know how to make it so that it's the same every time. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Mm. So I was working with him, you know, training him on pork counts. And then he's got like, you know, all the recipes I've got written down. And yeah, amazing. Um, because you do, you really, with these drinks, with these signature cuts, like you have to be pretty spot on with the measurements yeah. and stuff, or it takes on a whole different flavor. Yep. Absolutely. So because we're playing with so many unique things, but yeah. I just, I, so I'm a bit of a foodie, you yeah. know, and there are yeah. certain things that I'll tell you what, if there's tarragon in anything, I get so excited. I'm like, <gasps> oh, <laughs> my wow. face lights up. And then Harley just looks at me like, are you stroking out? <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> Is this a and menopause then, thing or is this because right? you, <laughs> and then my eyes roll to the back of my head and now he's like, okay, can we go home now? Yeah. <laughs> you done? Cause yeah. I get a little excited. Was that good for some you? some of my food. Oh yeah. It's a little that's hairy so met funny. Sally thing, you know? Oh, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> but, but so I can totally God. dissect these flavors and yeah. I love creating these cocktails yeah. because I'm like, Ooh, let's try this with this. And then, I mean, I will have to drink my way through a lot of cocktails before I perfect the recipe. Yeah. Sure. You know, which I mean, could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. Right, I don't know. Right. I mean, it's kind of a cool day job, um, getting to <laughs> drink, <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> um, I, am. Um, I, I, I love it. I yeah. love it. I'm just, are you both there every night that you're open? Yes, you are. We okay. do not have any employees. Right now. Oh my gosh, we you are, do it all. We are doing do it all, all right now. It's There's, it is a lot. That's because nobody wants to work. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I just, we're not there yet. You yeah, know, like yeah, I yeah. have so many things that I want to do. Like we were talking earlier about like how many times, how often you have to paint the wall and fix the wall. And yeah. like eventually I would like to invest in those rails that you can hang on the ceiling with the, okay. so I can oh, hang the art yeah. and I don't nice. have to, so I can then paint the walls like a cool <laughs> color and not have to worry about patching. And yeah, yeah. Um, so th- and then there's just so many things I want to do with the patio space, and but we need of course, of course, of yeah. course. And you it's know, just such a young bar it's yet, very or fresh. such a young yeah. gallery right. yet. You know, it's just do, yeah, what did we're you say? Very fresh. August or October? so the lounge was September of last year, 2020. Yeah, yeah, it's young. Or 2021. Um, it's a baby yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So we're getting there. Do you have a call to artists right now? Um. Not currently. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah, I thought we, I saw something, but that probably was a couple did, months ago already, yep, right? Yeah. 
um, but we will have another one coming up hopefully soon. So we do deal with a lot of international artists as well. Yeah. And shipping internationally has been an absolute nightmare. Yes. Oh gosh, you did yes. mention that. That's yeah. Right. So um, we're not getting as many um, submissions. Of course. Yeah. From yeah. the international artists. So any local artists come check us out. We're what are you looking, looking for? for? Yeah, what are you, I, Cause there's a lot of artists out there, but they may not be your style. Exactly. So what, exactly. What? So we come up with a theme. So this next show that we do, the theme is spiritual awakening. Okay. Oh. okay. So I try and keep it broad and vague mm-hmm. and I love seeing the artists interpretation. That of, is amazing. amazing. Cause yeah. that can be so many different things. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it, and it makes for fun. Like, cause I always want a little bit of a background on what, what uh, inspired you to make this piece right. and, yeah. or what does this piece, how does this piece symbolize spiritual awakening for you? Or, you know, cause I like to have those little backstories because going back to collectors like to be able to talk to the, right. about the piece too. Yeah. If it's a big statement piece and they're having people in their house, they want to be able to like, they, they almost brag about this piece mm-hmm. and the story behind it. And, you know, um, but then there are, Many people, and, and we do, we try and stick with a lower price point too. I think that's very important. Yeah. We aren't in a big city. We're yeah. in downtown, small Richmond. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But we do get people from Rockford, Chicago, Milwaukee. I was going to say, there's a lot yeah. of, so we do get, a we, lot of traffic goes through yeah. that little, I think, I feel like village. the last time we were there, someone was from Rockford. They mentioned that they were from Rockford. Yeah. Someone that was walking, it was oh, a couple. okay. I just remember like casually oh, okay. talking to them and I said, Oh, where are you from? They're like, Oh, we just thought we'd check this place out. We're from Rockford. I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's so was neat. fun. Like we have people from all over come yeah. through, but, but we are also the red carpet to Lake Geneva. Exactly. Yeah, so so yeah. this time of year is when we get a lot more foot traffic in yes. town. And cause <laughs> snow- when people walk in and they want to look at the art, can you tell if there's someone that's going to buy or not? Or is it always, you just never know. I never, never know. know. Yeah. Cause it depends on if they, if something moves them. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and one day I will inherit millions and I will buy a lot of it. Yeah. Right. We <laughs> have one piece in particular that's been there a while. It's, it was an amazing piece. Um, I say was because the artist just picked it up the other day and it made me so sad to see it go. And I'm surprised this piece didn't sell because I have seen two people in the time that it's been there literally start crying in front of this piece. Really? Which one was it? It was the one with like the, it was the woman's face with the blue lungs and the blue lips. It was like brown and blue in the, like in that back I'm sure I saw section. it. I just can't think of it right section. now. It was on that. But it, oh. it was because it spoke to people in a different way, you know. Yeah. And she like just didn't want it hanging there like, anymore. Um, so she kind of wanted to hang it in her own <gasps> space. Like okay. she loved that piece herself so yeah. much that she just like, okay, it's time. It sure. hasn't sold. It's time to bring it back. Sure. And um, but you just have to get that that right person in front of the right piece. That's yeah. Yep. That's all there is to it. Do you so. have something with Batman? I remember Snapchatting my son and it was something with Batman in the corner. Is it a book the or something? Book. Yeah, that's yes. what it is. Yeah. Yes. I remember so. showing him it and he was like, ooh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a local artist, Bill Bishop. He's in uh, yes. Williams Bay. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah. That's exactly it. I remember and so he's the one that. that does the ravens. Yeah. A lot of the ravens and stuff. That's kind Amazing. of his thing. And I love ravens. But he did that book during... Oh, here we go. COVID again during the pandemic. Okay, so really the name cool. of the book is Pandemic Faces. And it was just oh. like all these different faces that he was drawing yeah, it's throughout really to neat. keep himself like, you know. And then he just decided to publish a book with all these faces. And it's cool because a lot of them have like song titles is the name or um, it's so a really cool. fun book to, to flip through. It is. It really is. Yeah. I think every time I'm there, I Snapchat him. And go to different pages. Do you? Every time he's like, ooh, cool. That's what he says every time. <laughs> oh, mom's out again. No. Shit, she's going to be calling me for a ride no, with her drunk friends. he did take friends. us home. He did take us home one and night. we're like, go this oh, way, yeah. go this way. No, no, go this way, he's go like, this way. And he's like, where the fuck am I going? Yeah. He was just like, I'm going to follow my Google Maps, ladies. <laughs> be quiet. My family's very patient. I have Google Poor Maps Steven. on. Poor Steven. <laughs> Sweet, or sweet. your whole family. Child. He's oh, amazing. We come over and trash your house every holiday with glitter bombs. Yeah, and all no, sorts of We have a good time. I think I'm still picking up tinsel here yeah. in the basement oh, where we record. 
So tell so everyone. So that's why she wants to have a Christmas party at the gallery yes. this year. Easier cleanup. I see how yeah. this works. You got sweepable floors. That's exactly. Right. It's carpet down here. <laughs> All right. So tell everyone again the address, please. It's 10331 North Main Street in Richmond, downtown Richmond, and Illinois. And if they, they go visit, let us know because we'll probably yes. be there. And if we go, yes. we'll let everybody know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's Aeon Gallery and Lounge. Yes. And can you spell it for us? It's A-E-O-N. Yeah, thank oh, you. Very yes. good. Very good. Well, this was awesome. Yes. I'm thank so glad you, you ladies had, had so me out. out. Oh, of course. We've been talking I mean, about it since yes. probably the first time we met you I and know. went live. <laughs> I'm so and then glad finally, we, finally we had a cancellation. So I'm like, do you want to come? Yes. Come hang out yes. with us. Yes. So. I'm so glad this well, happened. Thanks. I'm glad so we happy this you were work. here. This was amazing. Me too. Thanks, thank ladies. You. Yes. All right, go visit um, Aon Gallery yes, Lounge. Come see us. Let us know if you're going because we'll show up. We'll probably be across the street at Brat House. Let us know. Have a great Friday, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.